Animating characters is a difficult task when it comes to interacting with objects and the environment. In this research, we present the Neurostate Machine, a data-driven deep learning framework for character scene interactions. The difficulty in such animations is that they require complex planning of periodic as well as aperiodic movements to complete a given task. Creating them in a production-ready quality is not straightforward and often very time-consuming. Instead, our system can synthesize different movements and scene interactions from motion capture data and allows the user to seamlessly control the character in real time from simple control commands. Since our model directly learns from a geometry, the motions can naturally adapt to variations in the scene. We show that our system can generate a large variety of movements, including locomotion, sitting on chairs, carrying boxes, opening doors and avoiding obstacles, all from a single model. The neural state machine consists of two main components, the gating network and the motion prediction network. Our model learns a set of expert weights and how to dynamically blend them in the gating network, which then composes the motion prediction network that animates the character. Using the phase combined with the character state, the system learns a multimodal segmentation of movements, actions and transitions that are possible at each state. We further use separate encoders for the character pose, scene geometry and user control signals to predict the character motion from one frame into the next. All network components are trained together in an end-to-end -end fashion. We captured motions of walking and running in different directions as well as doing sudden turns and sidesteps. We then set up objects of different geometry and captured various scene interactions and transitions from different starting locations. Our complete dataset contains two hours of motion capture data. In order to make our system adapt to variations in the shape and type of such objects, we developed an augmentation framework that enriches the space of possible movements for each interaction task. First, we once fit an object accurately into a scene and compute the contact information. We then extract the original motion curves for a set of key joints with respect to the contact points. After retransforming or switching an object, we map the contact points to the new object and recompute the original motion curves to satisfy the new contact states. The recomputed motion curves are finally given to a full-body Inverse Kinematics solver for synthesizing the whole sequence of motion. At every frame, we can then randomly resample the shape and size of an object and compute the corresponding pose. This technique augments the motion without increasing the data size and can be applied in the same fashion to all interaction tasks in our data. During runtime, the user can interactively navigate the character from low-level control signals. The purple spheres show the goal transformations given by the user, from which the network generates suitable paths that the character will follow. The same framework can also be used to control the character in a more high-level fashion. This is helpful when navigating characters manually is rather difficult, such as for accurately approaching and sitting on a chair. Given the object's location and the desired action, the network automatically creates movements, paths and transitions. In order to learn from the geometry, we first voxelize each object mesh and then introduce an interaction and environment sensor to extract the relevant shape and scene information. The environment sensor is mainly responsible for capturing the course details around the character and the interaction sensor provides a higher resolution for a particular object. Since the motion is inferred from the geometry and control signals, multiple animations can be generated on the same object by simply changing the desired action and without manually assigning labels for each object. For dynamic tasks, the interaction sensor can also be used to define the target location, for example where to place down an object after picking it up. Without the environment sensor, the character can easily pass through objects on its path. Without the interaction sensor, the finer details of an object such as armrests might not be captured well enough. To reach a given goal accurately, we introduce a bidirectional control scheme that learns and matches the motion in both egocentric and goal-centric coordinates. Without such technique, the character is likely to miss or overshoot the desired goal location, which results in misalignment or missing contacts between body and object. We now show the learned phase transitions of the neural state machine for different animations on the top left. Each black circle represents one set of expert weights and the curve in the middle shows the interpolation between them. For each type of motion, the gating network produces different activation patterns among the experts, which indicates how well the motions are segmented. Such framework is scalable since it avoids undesired interpolations between different movements and only allows certain actions and transitions to appear depending on the current character state. 
Our framework uses the Kronecker product to combine the phase and actions as input for the gating network. If simply concatenating features given to the network, the importance of temporal phase alignments can easily get lost, which can be observed from the blending coefficients at the bottom. The results are significant foot sliding artifacts, stiff motion, as well as unresponsive control. We now demonstrate our model being able to adapt motions of the same action to different types of objects, for example sitting on chairs with or without armrests or leaning against a desk. Our network can also learn the path and transitions to avoid obstacles, for example when sitting on a chair behind a desk. Since the model has learned to naturally synthesize different movements, a current action can be aborted at any time if the user changes the control signal. The user can also interactively change the size of an object and the motion smoothly adjusts. The same also applies to sudden changes in the location of an object, in which case the network automatically recovers movements, trajectories and actions. When presenting novel or unseen objects to the network, the generated animations still appear plausible and provide smooth transitions between them. We now compare our model to different controllers. When training a phase function neural network on the full dataset, it creates strongly vibrating movements both during locomotion and also during standing. Such artifacts become even more visible for interaction tasks where stable contacts are desired. Our model can synthesize such movements in a much higher quality since it learns suitable segmentations for each motion in the expert space. The mode adaptive neural network does not create such vibrating movements, but instead shows difficulty producing sharp locomotion for biped characters when using their foot velocities as input to the gating network. LSTMs are another potential solution, but tend to be less responsive than our framework and often require considerably more data for training. If certain geometry or transitions between actions are not captured, the animation might remain in its current state and fail to execute the user-given control commands. Our framework provides a more reliable interpolation for unseen data. In summary, we present an end-to-end -end deep learning framework for synthesizing character scene interactions from motion capture data called Neural State Machine. Our system can be used with simple user control commands and generates high-quality motions that can adapt to different objects and environments. The model is responsive, compact and scalable and is the first of such frameworks to handle scene interaction tasks for data-driven character animation.